I'm Melissa Robinson, Communications Director for Henry County Government, and this is Henry Talks with Thomas White. Good morning, Henry County. I'm coming live to you right now from 140 Henry Parkway, okay, ready to move right into your homes. <laughs> Thomas, and we have a very, very, very special guest. Indeed we do. Esteemed I'm so excited, Melissa. high up. Like, tell us about I'm so, I'm so very excited. He led our parade <laughs> in his... Uh, Patrol car? Did I use the right term for that? No, not patrol car. Wow. What, what, what's the term that I use? What, a, what an intro. Patrol Police car. car. Police car. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I apologize for the misnomer, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Mike Ireland. Ooh, Mike, you can, you can give him a little something. <laughs> Thank you to our this, studio audience. This is a huge get for doing? this is a huge Thank get for Henry Talks. Thank you for being here. I was forced. <laughs> yes. And he's already showing off the guns, so I'm just going to flex a little bit. The guns show here. Oh, uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Watch out. Oh, I'm blinded by just the flexing. Tastings. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. so, you are a super busy Welcome. man, but somehow found the time to come and join us for this show. Yes, because you threatened me. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here. So you let me threatened him. I never would. No. So when it was my idea to schedule you, and I was like, I don't know him. Can That's you true. schedule? And she was like, I got this. I didn't know she was going to threaten you. I'm so sorry. I did, and I just lied to him. What? Okay, that works too. That works too. <laughs> did she said she know me. She she claimed that she did. Uh, I don't know. I know when you said back sure on the phone, I was like, Does he know who this is? Does he know it's me? Right, yeah. <laughs> because I'm not sure. Well, you're stuck with us now, Chief. You no are. Editing. All right, so before we talk about anything else, I do want to talk about the latest issue of Georgia Trend, which is a publication for governments, and your department, the Henry County Police Department, Police one account. Police Department. <laughs> you said, about you you said, <laughs> so you oh gosh. All right, so your your department won a County of Excellence Award, big award statewide with uh through the ACCG and Georgia Trend. So I know that you were actually not at the conference because you were in training. That's your job. But tell us a little bit about how proud you are of your department for that award and how you're kind of like facing down like the mental health crisis. Uh, well, of course, I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of the department for what they have accomplished. I think uh, uh, the, this program came up probably about uh, a few years ago. Um, Director Ammerman and myself had sat down and talked about it. Mm -hmm. And we kind of looked at all the police department to see what they were doing and how they were doing it and know that this uh, particular program was a good program. Mm -hmm. And so, so we initiated and thank you to the county manager mm -hmm. and those individuals who are responsible for signing the checks. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Decided that that this is something that we could hire on, so so we did, and it's been successful so far. So it has, it's a good thing. it really has, and mental health is so at the forefront right now with so many things. So yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so I'm going to give you a, an opportunity for a little plug on this one because. You have a great department, wonderful staff, I have the best, department. best department, oh, yeah. not only in Georgia, but in the country. But you are always looking for those best candidates, right? So you're always recruiting, always. A few good men and women. A few. Sure. Stealing that from the Marines. I don't think, I think you invented that. Like that's, we'll, yeah. We'll take it. Yes. We'll take it. So always looking for a few good men and women to come join the team. And they yes. can certainly reach out to the police department for that or to our HR department. Correct. It's henryjobs.com. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we do have a website for okay. recruitment, and, and, and let me plug my recruitment team because Let's I tell see. you what, they have been doing an amazing job. Great. Um, um, we have, currently we have 282, uh, I call them uh, certified officers. Okay. Gun talkers, if you want to say. All right. Um, 282, we have nine that's going to go to the academy uh, this month, okay. as a matter of fact. We have five in training. Uh, right now, those individuals are in training. They're going to the SRO program because, as you know, we picked up the SRO program probably about two years ago. SRO right. school, uh, school resource, resource officers. officers. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. You mm -hmm. little cop jargon. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, um, recruitment, um, amazing job. Yeah, but for those individuals who want to join the best police department. The best. The best. 
The uh, best. Well, I've got something to say about that. Okay. What do okay. you? <laughs> Henry County Police Department is by far the best police department in Georgia. 100%. I mean, it's no Parks and Rec, but <laughs> it is by far the best police department in Georgia. And as far as Parks and Rec is concerned, you guys are always there for us. And that's on top of your True. normal duties that you do. It's a very dangerous job. Um, you guys put yourselves out there. And True. you do it for the safety of the people of Henry County. Oh, and so on behalf of Parks and Rec, I would like to say thank you. And maybe one day you'll be as good as our department. <laughs> we hope. We can only hope. So right. it's funny you should say all that because you two have something in common. Yes. Um, yes. You have a long career in law enforcement. And you I have 13 years of a career that I try to forget every day. <laughs> and what was that career? Yes, I worked in the prison system for 13 years. Okay. And I'm so glad that you mentioned the mental health program that you're doing, because that's one of the yeah. biggest things we face in the prison system, uh, especially considering the overcrowding. And a lot of that is because we don't have those mental health services right. before people wind up committing the crimes that get them in the prison system. So it's so, so great that the PD has taken a lead on yeah. getting those mental health services to people. It's well needed. It well needed, well definitely. Needed. Well needed. So when we talk about public safety and specifically um, a career, you've had a long career in Henry County, and I think you've probably filled every role possible. You came from a military career, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so tell us. Like, I, I want to tell. I want people to understand this: that when you enter into a career in public safety. You, it's a path that you can go so many different directions with. Can you just talk about some of those pathways? I know there's criminal investigation, there's the detective division, there's patrols. So there's a lot of things that they can. There's if somebody's interested in this, truly, there are so many different avenues to take. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, especially with Henry County, we have so many different aspects of the job that you can do. Not only what you see or what the citizens normally see is, you know, the police officer in uniform driving around right. in his mark unit, answering mm -hmm. calls issuing citations um, <laughs> what? Um, so um, but there's so many different we have a motor unit those guys who like to ride motorcycles we mm -hmm. have a traffic unit those guys who like to work um, traffic accidents right. mm -hmm. um, criminal investigation division mm -hmm. um, investigate those major crimes homicide armed robberies sure and then we have now that we have the uh, SRO the school resource officer so if you are inclined to work in the school and you have the patience for it because right. not everyone is cut out for that Sure. So time. true. You know, so true. With, he would uh, not be kids. cut out for that. No, I would not be. Uh, uh, kids are wonderful, wonderful things. Just not things. for me. Uh, <laughs> that being said, oh, it's, gosh. The, it's the smell. But anyway, <laughs> we work really close with the police department, especially the ACE unit. Uh, in fact, the ACE unit comes out every month to our mobile rec that we do in the right. different right. communities. We take the recreation programs. Uh, to the actual communities that may not be able to afford to get to our rec centers to participate in the program. And PD is always so gracious in coming out and participating in that. But that's only a little bit of the community engagement that you do. You have a massive community engagement uh, team, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Presence, and, rather. And, and the ACE unit, the active, com uh, active Community Enforcement Unit. Mm -hmm. Um, those guys do, do an amazing yes, job. They do. They do. As a matter of fact, they're doing the uh, summer program for the, the kids. Explorers. Yes. Right. And, yes. And they're doing that. And they, um, we had the Explorer program started a few years ago, but right. it kind of um, kind of went to the wayside a little bit. But those guys have initiated that program again and so right. we're we're ramping that program up and those uh, uh students who are with the explorer program are going to be working with the summer camp yes oh, yes great. they will in fact the uh, last week in Jubla june the summer camp at nash farm yes yeah we're really excited yes. about there i'm going to be out there numerous numerous times to film TikToks. i've got different challenges for them to do it's going to be great it is i love how tom's always kind of brings it back to him in parks yes but, I'm, but yeah I'm absolutely so yeah, that yeah, is so. at nash farm park <laughs> 4361 jonesboro okay. right. 24 through the 28 right 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 right, right. Um, it's be I, great. I would be remiss if i didn't mention this i came to your citizens police academy graduation the other night graduation mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. don't quit your day job <laughs> um so Jealousy. and <laughs> i would say some I, people can't take the heat 
Martin, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you like that? How you like me now? <laughs> All right, so I came Melissa, to graduation. are you ever going to finish the statement? I came to graduation, and-, and I spoke to, I took some pictures, and I spoke to a man in the class, and I'm actually going to talk with him and interview him and talk about his impressions of it. He really thought a lot of this academy, and he said the 10 weeks flew by, mm-hmm. and I just thought, what a great testament for people who don't know what the police do, have their own preconceived notions. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about the Citizens Police Academy, is that what you're finding? that people think one way and once they get in there it kind of changes the way they think about police and what you do mm-hmm. and what you face oh yeah definitely especially for the last few years with the atmosphere right. that surround law enforcement uh, one of the things that the the citizen police academy do is to kind of educate right. the citizen in reference to what we do sure because it's not just what they see on television or what they um, CSI and all the <laughs> right. things that they watch. Um, but what we do is we try to educate the cit- um, the citizen in reference to what all the different division to the criminal investigation division, the crime unit. Right. Um, and so, and it helps us because it helps us in a way that when these individuals go back out in the community and l- something happened within the police department, they will try to educate those individuals out there saying, hey, listen, I've been through through the Citizen right. Police Academy, and this is the procedure that they go through. You know, give it time. Let sure. them investigate it and let them bring it forward. Because one of the things we try to do, or we always do in the police department, is to be transparent in right. reference to what we do. Right. Um, if it's, if it's going to be an issue that we believe um, that might be a problem with us investigating and that's why we will call the GBI in okay and we'll say come in and investigate it so that transparency will be out right there. so yeah it's a great program and yes. and God we have gone we have gone on several years with it mm. right now we usually try to do two a year okay right. and those classes are normally um, they usually get full up they yeah up in fact one of our park maintenance staff members uh kevin he went through the P- citizens police academy oh did he and he mm-hmm. constantly talks about it and what it's done it's been two years since mm-hmm. he's been through the program and he he loves it he constantly talks about it anytime people are asking about it or even asking right. about the police department in general yeah. he's happy to jump in and explain stuff because of the citizens police academy and that's exactly what it's supposed to do right. educate those individuals to educate educate other those people that will, those individuals who haven't been through the program yeah but yeah. but yeah i suggest that anyone who haven't been through that program should check Deal out the right. website I'm, I'm look at it. are you gonna website. do it you i'm doing it. it i'm gonna do it i'm doing gonna it. document my experience through it i'm gonna gonna i'm gonna write a book it's gonna call, be called on the beat with henry <laughs> On the beat with Henry. I yes, like I think right, that right, would be right, great. Right. I'm I, clever at titles. It's the like writing that. afterwards that I have. To <laughs> like that. Right. Uh, no, that no, it is. It's a really good program. And if they tell two people and they tell two people and so on and so on, that old model. But Wasn't there, a shampoo there was, and it's also a hotel's motto of, of getting the word out, I'm not just shampoo took it from somewhere else. God, I how old are you? No <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I honestly have no idea where this just went. Oh, <laughs> uh, completely sure derailed. you don't. Uh, All right. Anyway. I'm just a lot younger. I don't know what to say. Uh, yes. And I think I, you are a lot younger. And you're a lot younger than Bert when he was on our show, Bert Bivens. And I think that he beat you in an arm wrestling contest. Is There's that some right? things we don't talk about anymore. So <laughs> All right. To, uh, speaking of. Mention that. Speaking of experiences, um, mm-hmm. in your long career, can, is there anything you can point to that was like crazy or just like you wouldn't believe it? I know you have stories that you can tell, probably stories you can't tell, and I didn't know if there was Definitely. anything that you can point to and kind of say what was really. <laughs> Be careful. You got to filter career. through here, yeah. stuff. I know. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, my career. You got a few more years, just, just be careful. I, know. I was like, I don't want to get fired <laughs> yet. <laughs> um, you know, it's um, <sighs> nothing really crazy. I remember uh, when I first started with Henry County and my first call that I went on, it was a individual that was, uh, I think he was on some kind of PCP or something. Okay, oh, wow. drugs. Was, Super strength. Yes. And 
That was a long night. Mm. And it was myself and two other officers. Mm. And he was naked. Oh. Oh, boy. And, and How did that turn out? Um, it was difficult. <laughs> I can only imagine. I've literally seen someone on PC, PCP kick out the cage in between the driver and the back seat. Wow. I've, I've literally seen that happen, which I know that was at the prison system yeah. and obviously you guys have way more that is a lot for a it new is, officer it, it, it is so i started to turn around on <laughs> walk the other direction. right 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 get in my car and go home but you had I just left the military i did 21 years in the military oh wow and i got out of the military and say you know what i'm going to continue and one of the main reason to uh, for joining the police department is because you know in the military you know you always wear a uniform mm-hmm. and so i figure what better place Right, you know, get out of one uniform into another. I won't have to worry about right. You know, picking out you know color cards. Right, 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 right. right, right, right but right, now right. I see you are one of the best dressed men in Henry County, and you're Stop. not in a uniform. So, but you Stop. always. And I actually want to know about that transition because I struggled. So I struggled not wearing the same uniform every day. Turns out I did not have enough clothes <laughs> outside of my uniform to wear clothes to work every day. So was that a struggle for you, leaving the uniform? And now you don't have to be in uniform necessarily every day. So. Oh uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's it's a good thing now. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a good thing now. Before you know, I was younger. Don't say. <laughs> I was younger, so. It, it was a lot easier just to get up in the morning and say, hey, I know exactly right. what I'm putting on. You know, I'm right. on this uniform and going. Right. Got to hit that iron, polish the boots, and you're good to go. That's it. But as he takes. got through his career and he's, you know, come to a different point, he has more golf clothes than he does do. and other clothes. You know, I'm glad that you mentioned golf because I need some help. Uh, okay. I would like you to take a moment now and critique my golf stance. If you will. Uh, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you. Okay. Now I've been told oh, you're this making is my you camera do. person do more work. But go ahead. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. Man. Okay, so oh, uh, I've been told chest out, butt out. <laughs> and I golf like this. Is this correct? No. No. Okay. All right. So what do I need to do instead? Like how do I? I you know what? I think this is way <laughs> more than a podcast for us. Baseball. Drink. Yeah, that's there it. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Go. Perfect. Go. Perfect. Go. Perfect. All right. I'm good. So I'm good. stick to. Stick to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say. Maybe not. It depends on how. <laughs> well, this has been this has been a really great conversation. Thank you for coming on and talking so candidly about your great team, your great department, but also you know your career and where you've been. And hopefully, we get some new interest and recruits from this podcast who may want to join the best the police best. department in the world. The best world in the world worldwide. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I agree. Best police department world. worldwide. Yes. And it's the best for one one reason. What's Melissa. that? What's that, Thomas? It's because Henry cares. Henry, Henry committed. committed. You got to you just say Henry committed. You know? uh, Henry, Henry committed. committed. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody gets it right. <laughs> Thank Nobody you right. so much. Henry. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, you don't have to keep talking in the mic. Go back now. and watch Brazzle's so episodes. We're we're <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Chief Ireland. This is a great conversation. I hope Thank you'll you. come back and visit us. Probably, and probably not. Okay. <laughs> That's it for Henry Talks, and we will see you, and you'll hear us next time. Thanks. Bye.